what I was going to say. <laughs> After you said, it's comforting, out of all the responses that you thought might have listened, I'm betting, ah! Didn't make a sense. You're right. You see, you need to expect the unexpected. Loosen up, Dan. It's Daniel, kid. Right, fine, Daniel. <laughs> let's take what happened with us here tonight. And let's forget about my wife, Vivica, and our daughter, Amber. And Helene, a little finch bird. <laughs> Let's talk theoretically. Theoretically. Now, a guy walks up to you in a bar. Me. Now, you know nothing about the person standing next to you. This stranger could hold the possibility of, I don't know, a one night stand that registers on the Richter scale! Oh, jeez. <laughs> Or, a one-night stand that is truly pathetic, but blossoms into a deep friendship involving marathon phone calls, hilarious emails, and I'm not talking about those forwarding jokes. <laughs> or, or, this stranger could be the man that you are supposed to spend the rest of your life with. The man you've been waiting to meet ever since you had a crush on your fifth grade math teacher. I didn't know I was gay until high school. Yeah, but think back, I'm guessing there are crushes. <laughs> there were misplaced crushes. Uh-huh. And this guy turns to you, me, I do that. <laughs> and I say, hey. And you say, hey. But that's where it stops in your mind, because my name probably isn't Hernando. <laughs> there is no way to wander around the world, my friend. Blinders on, choices made. Both fat meals pre-selected months before the flight. I used to be just like you. Set my ways at an early age, knowing exactly what my life would hold. And now look at me! I am in a gay bar on a Thursday night, and I can tell you this. When I woke up this morning, I didn't think for a second I'd end up here. Are... So that's right. All I'm saying, Daniel, is you got to... Shit! I gotta be going. It's Lil Amber's birthday tonight, and she's turning four. She's about to get her first Barbie in a half hour. Wow, really? Well, tell her happy birthday for me. Will do. You have a good night, Daniel DeMonaco. It was cool sharing a drink with you. Yeah. Yeah, it was. Oh. Can I ask you just one more little question? Sure. And it's an ego thing. Fine. And again, we're in theory land. It's, it's just, now that we've talked, now that you know me a little bit, would you give me, a car-carrying Caucasian guy like me, a chance? You would, wouldn't you? What? You would! Wouldn't you? Yes, you would! Yes, you would! Yes, you would! Yes, you would! Yes, you drive me totally insane! See, now I think that's a very healthy start. <laughs> I don't know, uh, I guess you're sort of, uh, charming. In a totally psychotic sort of way. <laughs> uh, sure, what the hell? It's going three for the Cabinator! <laughs> Kevin does it! Soak on the big one! <laughs> so you're actually yep. full on gay! Completely clear! Right from the bottom of the mouth! Oh, I knew you were coming around, I could tell! But then the way to go, okay? Leave me alone forever! Starting right now! What are you talking about? We have a date to go on, cowboy! <laughs> Work? Have you any idea how difficult that was thinking on my feet like that? I completely forgot Little Amber's name for like 30 seconds. <laughs> There's no way in hell I'm ever going on a date with you, Kevin, if that's even your real name. It's actually Hernando, which is pretty ironic. <laughs> That's why I won't go out with you. That is exactly my point. Aside from the fact that you're a complete freak, which is high on the list of reasons why I won't go out with you, there's also the little trouble of me having no idea who you really are or what you might Oh, come on. Oh, come on, what? I can get you to some restaurant, and you tell me that you're actually a woman, or that you're Vietnamese, or that you're a Vietnamese woman. <laughs> or, or, I get you home. 
and then you'd rob me, and this whole thing would turn into some extended con. It's not a con. You conned me this thing, I'd go out with I you. I did not. You did. You lied to me repeatedly. I didn't lie to you. Fine. You want to know who I am. I am a guy who has been coming to this bar every Thursday for months, who noticed you weeks ago and thought you were certifiably cute. <laughs> Only you've never even seen me. You looked right through me, and fine. Maybe I'm nothing special, I know that. But I see you making gay eyes at Latin men who are far, far less nothing special than me. And that pisses me off, frankly. So when you left your ATM card in the cash machine, I thought I had been given this chance. And I just wanted you to see me for a few minutes, for one conversation. But you couldn't just say hi, I found your ATM card. Sure, <laughs> but how unoriginal would that have been? <laughs> to you, for the record, I surprised you. Catch <laughs> you guessing? And for a while there towards the end, you were pretty intrigued by me, I could tell. And you were dancing right alongside me. And I still happen to think you're certifiably cute. Just... Stop making all this shit up, okay? I won't make any more shit up, I promise. And never! Make me drink a Bacardi Breezer in public again. <laughs> I won't. Beyond that, I just... I don't even know what I'm supposed to say to you. How about... Let's just... Hey.